and that first vase is drying. So we're going to go ahead and do a second vase. And here's the second vase, once again, sitting on a paper plate to catch all the drippings and a cup underneath to help it roll over that bottom edge so that you have a nice vase. You could easily make these. Now, if your area isn't level, you can actually prop these little tiny um, canvas stretchers underneath there or little pieces of woods or anything. But once again, we have some paint mixed up. I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna play with it. We're gonna fill this cup with some paint. I'm using dark blue to start with. Nice, drippy, you want it nice and drippy because it has to drip over that whole vase. So I'm gonna add some dark blue. Let's go ahead and add some other colors. Let's add a little bit of this light blue once again, making sure it's nice and drippy. Go ahead and pour that in there. We're trying to make a nice mix. Da, da, da. And we're gonna add a little bit of this magenta. Isn't that pretty? It's not too pretty, but it's pretty. There we go, and just pour it in there. We're letting the colors mix. They're mixed with, these are acrylic paints that are mixed with um, Floetrol, which you can get at any hardware store. And Floetrol is just a conditioner. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little tiny bit of yellow to the mix. I don't normally do the yellow, but we'll just check it out, see what happens. Okay, now, I'm gonna wipe off my hands really quick with just a quick towel. I always have a bucket of water. Um, here's a one that I did a couple days ago and just put a finish on it. And you can kind of see, look at that, with all those cells. Isn't that a cool vase? Imagine giving your mom that with some pretty daisies or something in it. Up here we have all the tulips blooming, so it's really kind of pretty. Okay, I'm going to set that in the back. Okay, so we put that all of that in there. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of gold. Nice gold. I'm mixing it up because I should have already mixed it, but no biggie. We'll add a little tiny bit of that gold in there. Gold is kind of heavy, so it sometimes goes to the bottom. Now I'm going to leave that. The last one I mixed up, you can see it in there. It's already starting to form cells, looking super cool. And we're just going to pour it right over the whole vase. It's already making a really pretty purple with those blues, mixing with a little bit of the magenta. I'm going to let that drip out there. Check that out. Doesn't that look pretty? It's already like, oh, yay. I'm looking good. Okay, there we go. Now we poured it on there. Now we got to smear it around with trying not to touch it too much. You can see it on there. I'm going to blow on it to get it to roll over the edges. I'm going to fill up all of that empty space. Look at that. It's going to drip down all over it. And then I'm going to grab my super handy tool, which is a clear spoon. This is a high-tech tool. Clear spoon, can you see that there? I got a little bit of lot yellow right there, and I like it, but not so much. So I'm going to add some more of the color to kind of break it up a little bit. And I'm going to roll it around, roll this around on the paper plate. And blow on it a little bit. I'm going to add some more of that blue. I want the blue. I like that dark blue for some reason. So I'm going to add some more of the dark blue just to break up that yellow area. And then I'm going to add a little bit of that lighter blue. Now the paint, because of the conditioner, the Floetrol, it will spread amongst itself. It will start to be like, yeah, and it pop and come through here and there. You can see how rich it is right there. I'm going to add a little bit more of that gold. I'm going to add the gold all the way around because I really like the gold. Then I'm going to take my other, doesn't that look cool? I'm going to take my other super handy tool, my straw, my high-tech straw, and blow on it. I want it to be able to drip all the way down. Now, if I get something that I don't like, I can immediately start to blow on it and it will move the paint. And I'm gonna go all the way around, turning the vase all the way around, making sure I get all of the clear spots filled with the vase. Now, these vases aren't super high tech, 
which means that they um, this will this coat of paint will actually help protect the glass, making it a little bit more durable. I'm going to fill in all of the clear spaces. Now, a lot of the magenta didn't show through, and the magenta is really a pretty color, and I know it will start to mix with that blue, so I'm going to add some more of it. A lot of times, if the colors are really thinner or don't weigh as much, they call it weight in paint. It's just a thinner paint. Then you can put it on top, but look at that. It's almost too bright, so I'm going to start to mix it in with the other colors. Check it out, looking so pretty. Okay, and then I have to keep going around and going around and getting all of the paint filled in on the glass so that the glass is completely covered. It actually helps protect the glass just a little bit, all the while not trying too much to play with the paint. It's because we don't want the paint um, to get too mudded up. And mud means that it just got a little bit overmixed. However, overmixed paint sometimes looks really pretty. You always, always, always have to let your eyes decide. Doesn't that look cool? It's just, I'm picking up, you can see how pretty even the stuff on the paper plate looks. Just trying to, because it's gonna continue to drip for about an hour. Now I have that really pretty magenta. I'm really liking that, but I'm gonna blow on it just a little bit. Very nice. I'm gonna let that dry and see what happens. There's a lot of color on there, warm and cool. I don't know if I'll do that again, but anyway, it looks super cool and you can see the one I just did yesterday and how that one looks with just the blue and a little tiny bit of red in there and a little bit of white. And, it, and then this one actually has a coat of that, a crystal clear acrylic spray you can get also at Walmart or any hardware store. It makes a really nice pretty vase to give your mom for Mother's Day. So there you go, you're all set. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your day and happy Mother's Day to all you mothers.